Rodney. Mike, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. What do you fear? Um. Well, hmm. I don't know. Fear. What do I fear? Hmm. Let me ask you if I close my eyes right now while we were driving. Would you, yes. Would you get scared? Yes. Yes. Would you suddenly feel alive though? Would you suddenly feel like awake and alert and alive and your blood is pumping? Your blood would be pumping because there's a natural fear that is going to be lurking underneath. Yes, but, um, so, we are supposedly our biggest fear is dying. Okay? I don't fear dying. Yeah, I don't either. But I fear not recognition. As in... As in what? Um, being, um, oh, oh golly. Um, I'll tell you what, I don't feel, I don't fear dying while you're thinking about that. Okay. I don't fear it because. Accepted, and I'm also I'm also convinced that when it's my time to go, there's 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 not going to be a way out. It's not it's not a yes or no, multiple choice question. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Period. I so agree. That's something that I don't fear. What I I, oh. I go ahead. Did you have it? Well, recognition, like, for the things we do in life. I think, you fear that? Yes, I fear that. Well, one of the reasons why Mr. E and I came up with Rodney the Radfish was for the sheer fact that when you do go Rodney Smith you're still going there's going to be a legacy left. Yeah. I think for the most part when when people do pass I think initially they are remembered very well but eventually I, I think it's sad to say that a lot of people are forgotten and um, we too forget I mean um, be forgotten right yeah. but but Karen says no I say the biggest fear is not being um, death the biggest fear is to be unrecognized for your good deeds and life. And I don't believe that because I think if I don't think I think the good deeds that you do deep down inside you're doing them because you're passionate about it and you're doing them out of the kindness of your heart and you don't necessarily need recognition. You know? Exactly, but we have a fear. Birky's fear. I don't say it right. Um, being. Um, the baby cries in. Um, out of the room, room, um, room. 
I did it. I came out kicking ass. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I'm out of crying. Yeah. No. It's not hungry. It's fear. It's shocked because it doesn't know what the hell is going on. You're taking out of the element that you're so comfortable in. Yes, the I, I agree. You're suddenly, I, you're I, suddenly I... removed from this womb and you're put into this environment that you're like, what is going on? I, shocked. I agree, but... They want recognition. The babies the, want recognition. Yes. They want to be held. Yes. That giant alligator right there. Yeah. That's a big one. Eyes on the road. Oh. Um. And and they want a the f people anglers. Are fish. Yeah. Yeah. We are going down. Um, Five, no, um, five twenty, um, in St. John's River. Yeah, crossing. Um, Let me ask you this: that giant gator over there. If I pulled over on the side of the road, would you get in the water and swim towards it? Yes, because they, it will fear me. Correct. But, I think, I but, think to a point, if he's hungry, he's probably not going to fear you. But, he's probably going to try to chomp on you. Okay, okay. So, when I got in Alaska on the Good News River, the grizzly bears feared me because I wore wool. Well, I'm not... beast. Yeah, but but on the Canine Peninsula, mm -hmm. they look uh, for people to feed them. Yeah. So they don't have any fear of the people. As is, you think fear and adrenaline are the same thing? Con. If something scares you, all of a sudden your adrenaline is pumping because you just got scared. You know? Yes. Well. Okay. But that's part of it. That's, so, that's when if you can if you can bottle that right there. That's when you feel alive. Yes. Very similar to fishing. The second that you hook a fish, until the second that you unhook that fish, your adrenaline is pumping, and you're not thinking about anything else, but if you can stop for the moment somehow and control that energy that you're putting into the fish, you'll all of a sudden realize just how alive you are. You know, you're you're embracing it because you're not thinking about anything else, and you're like, this, is, you're having fun. You know, skydiving. Yes. Uh, oh. And, you know. So a I. A lot of different things. I used to fear jumping out of a perfectly fine plane. Plane. Yeah. Yeah. But I will do this because I don't fear anymore. I, yeah, and when I, after Steph passed, I dumped some of her ashes out of the plane. And I jumped for my very first time. It's the only time I jumped. Yeah. And a lot of people said, are you scared? And I said, no, I'm not scared because I knew if it was my time to die, then that plane was going down or that chute, it, there, it was out of my control. Yes. Absolutely out of my control. And I felt comfortable that it wasn't my time to die and I was jumping out of that plane. I didn't even think twice about it. I waddled out of there and started flying and flopping around to the earth. Um, 
but it makes me feel alive. Initially, you're a fear um, to get um, ran through you. Yeah. But, but, okay, so you said at the beginning of the um, video, um, hey, if I close my eyes and took the hand off the wheel, would I fear? Mm -hmm. And and I said, oh, um, I will um, fear a lot, you know. Yeah. But I will drive the car. React. Yes. Yep. Yes. And and uh, do everything I could to not get in a wreck. Let's say you die. Yeah. Or hard. Yeah. yeah your initial your initial experience is fear. Yes. Again, relate. I hate to relate back to when Steph passed, but after she passed, my initial reaction was fear of how the how unknown. was no yeah how was I going to make it without my wife and yes. my best friend. Recording glitch, so I I feared how I was going to make it without my wife and then I initially like you were initially scared if I had blinded myself and took the hands off the wheel you were initially scared and after that initial period you grabbed the wheel the same way that I grabbed the wheel back in life and got back on track yes after losing my wife just um there's too much fear in our lives, and it, they are. Um, Lost it for a second, but now I'm about to drop you off. Oh well. But where I, where, where I got cut off was the fear is to change. Yes. That's the fear. Yes. Nobody well, wants change. Yeah, and we're change is. Constant. Yeah, environment is changing. The world is changing around us. I I know. And we do not like this. Powerless though. Yeah. Except for our own control. Yes, and we got one thing in our control: the way we um, react to the change. One thing. Hey, it's been nice getting to talk to you. Yeah, my eyes are on the road. Yeah, well. <laughs> you know what I fear? Oh. I fear... Traffic. No, I don't fear traffic. I feel the idiots that make up traffic. Oh that, yes. That don't it, know how to drive well. But, but that are using a camera while they're driving. Oh yes, yes. I I, but, I fear I fear for the environment. I fear for our future. Yeah, I know. I know. And I fear that but, this town and this world is getting too big for its britches. But hope. Hope yep. is the only thing we got. Yes, high hope, low expectations. Yeah, you know. And we will do good. Um, or we will die. Oh, we're dead. We're going to die. <laughs> we're all going to die. You know. Unfortunately. No, no, no. It's a part of change. It's part of life. Or part of life. You're born yeah. and you're going to die. Yeah. And I don't mind it because of friends like you. Yes. No, Bird crapped all over your car.
<laughs> no, no. Um, um, rolling uh, pigeon or um, dove. Um, crap in the um, sea grapes. Uh, at the house. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Damn dove. So. I want you to see this. Okay. Flat Vision Film Tour, February 25th. Yeah. 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. You do a masterful job of um, bringing it to uh, Melbourne. Thank you. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. All right. I don't do anything by myself. Yes. Except push that wheelchair. Ah! Oh, you do. Um, See ya. See ya. Oh, nom namaste. <laughs>